<laughs> My Adidas. Ah, oh, f. All right, re redo. All right. Welcome to Shoot Your Shot TV. My name is Paul. Today we will be doing a review of the Adidas Alpha Edge 4D ASW, which means All Star Weekend. This shoot came out during All Star Weekend 2018, and they weren't initially on my hit list, but my homie Noel was able to pick up an extra pair on Adidas.com. So I thought, mm, why not? Let's test them out and see what this new technology is about. This is Adidas' second model to incorporate Futurecraft technology. Futurecraft technology is basically a 3D printed midsole that was developed by Adidas partner Carbon, based out in Silicon Valley, California. And what Adidas wants to do with this technology moving forward is pretty much put 3D Futurecraft machines in all of their flagship stores so that the average consumer can customize their own midsole to go with their custom shoe to give them a perfect fit for their foot. So it's kind of like a Build-A-Bear for shoes. And what kind of monster doesn't like Build-A-Bear? Now let's take a look at the shoes. So this is the box that they come in. It's a pull-out box that has a cool little handle. And I got a size 10. The box has a glossy finish to it with the Futurecraft print all over. You got your Adidas branding logo right there on the front. So here they are. The Alpha Edge 4D you can see the Futurecraft midsole on the whole shoe. And at first glance, when I first saw pictures of them online or even holding them now, kind of reminds me of a dish sponge or some uncooked top ramen, but it does feel very comfortable in hand. The shoe's pretty light. The midsole is a little bit more stiff in the heel and the forefoot, but a little bit more squishy and bouncy in the arch. Yeah, it looks like prime knit material on the upper an elastic sock liner that kind of looks like neoprene but it's elastic. On the inside it says Futurecraft 4D and you have Adidas branding, three stripes right here on the tongue, Adidas branding on the heel, and then Adidas branding right here in the front of the toe. And it has the continental rubber outsole like Adidas has been doing since their Ultra Boost 2.0. Yeah, it's a good looking shoe, it looks pretty sleek. Not too loud. Um, this is the ash green colorway and the core black. But it looks more of like a gray or like a, a smoke color. But yeah, I can't wait to try these on. I think this little heel pull is 3M. So if you can shine the light on there, it would be reflective. Um, looks like a good running shoe and a good lifestyle shoe. So let's go ahead and try these on. After initially trying these on and wearing them for a little bit, they had a light bounce, kind of like an alpha bounce, and they weren't as bouncy as an ultra boost. They were somewhere in the middle there. They are long and narrow in the forefoot, but they aren't too snug, so they'll be able to break in nicely. Overall, it's a good looking shoe on foot. They're very comfortable. I feel like I could wear these all day. It's a nice looking lifestyle shoe by Adidas. I want to see what other colorways come out or what other models they might incorporate the Future Craft technology on. Would I buy these for the price point of $300? Uh, it's a little steep for my taste, but I'm glad I was able to test these out. I might make this my everyday wear. Uh, hopefully Carbon and Adidas can work something out where they can come up with a more cost-efficient way to produce this and make it a little bit more affordable for the average consumer. So overall, if you have a chance to cop these shoes, I would because they're pretty limited and they're pretty nice and comfortable. Um, but try and get yourself a promo code like me and save yourself some money. But that's our episode for today. Thank you for watching Shoot Your Shot TV. Be sure to watch our previous videos. We did one on the crazy boots you wear, and we have more content coming soon. Hit that like and subscribe button. Drop a comment below. And this is Shoot Your Shot TV. We're out. Yeah.